Hey, Victoria here from VFW Quilts. I thought I would give you a little peek because I'm often curious about, as quilters, like, do you sleep under a quilt on your bed? Because oftentimes I have to have, I have a harder time making the perfect quilt that I actually want to sleep under. So I'm in my uh, master bedroom. Hello, Jenny Egg. She's always got to steal the shot. Um, and currently, this is the quilt that's on my bed. You'll notice it's pretty much a whole cloth and it has just a striped border around the outside, which is actually the back of a pieced quilt. So let's take a peek. Jenny Egg, I might have to move you. Uh -huh. Here, let's look. Wah! Right over the poochie. Look, it's big Dresden plates. This was actually a quilt that I made a while ago Yes, hello Jenny Egg. I was actually talking about that right there, right where you parked your butt. Come here. <laughs> of course, I tell you. So this quilt was actually done when I sifted through all my scrap bins and kind of picked out fabrics that I didn't think were the most attractive fabrics. And then I went through, designed, cut out all the pieces of my, uh, using my Dresden template, and then I selected one fabric that would help tie all of those colors together. So. In the end game, all those fabrics that are a little bit slightly odd, actually ended up looking pretty dang cute together. But for whatever reason, I put this nice backing with the pinks and the browns and you'll notice that my walls are actually kind of a peachy color. I don't know if you can really see that in here. It's very bright in here today. Um, but this pinky peachy color with the brown and my brown floors and my brown drapes, it just looked really good to use the back of the quilt. So I have started many, many quilts to try to make the perfect quilt, patchwork quilt, that I'll actually sleep under. So the quilt that I currently have on my design wall downstairs is browns, creams, peaches, light pinks. So I'm actually hoping that if I actually get that quilt done, that I'll finally have accomplished to make a quilt that I want to sleep under. So I want to know from you, do you have a quilt that you actually sleep under on your bed? I would love to see it. Perhaps you could post it and tag me at Instagram. Uh, my Instagram handle is Victoria Finley Wolf Quilts. So if you tag the photo at Victoria Finley Wolf Quilts, I will get to see your quilt that's on your bed that you sleep under. And maybe I'll get inspired because I think I've made and started about 10 different quilts and then I lose interest and never finish it. So want to make a perfect quilt. What is a perfect quilt? Nobody makes a perfect quilt. So, you know, but remember, this is kind of a fun thing to play with. So I have a Dresden template in my, in my website, 22 blades makes a full circle. And I actually used bias tape bias tape to sew down my raw edges so I didn't have to do hand applique. I actually made this quilt quite a long time ago and I quilted it very loosely because I wanted the puff in the quilt so it would be lightweight and I have wool inside it so it's not too heavy and it actually has worked pretty well. Don't you agree Jenny Egg? I'd say she agrees. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's a gorgeous day today. I'm going out to sew. Talk to you later. BFWQuilts.com. Bye.